Hello and welcome back to all my beautifully extra people out there. Today I have an unbagging for you. Um, I'm looking at this package that just showed up and I'm thinking it's going to be more of a um, how not to package your items when you're reselling out there, whether if it's on the sites or in your Facebook groups or wherever you're selling, how not to do it because the way this showed up, I'm just... I had zero intentions to film today. This was just going to be for my personal collection and it's supposed to be a cash-in. So this is a, supposed to be an earlier generation cash-in. I tried doing some research. I couldn't find much information out there. I know it's a limited edition item, so not too much that I know about it. You guys just look at this. like. You guys see how big the cash-in is back there, right? The regular size, the large one. This isn't the small one, the 22. It's not the mini. One of those is in here. Yeah. This showed up at my doorstep today via USPS. It's not USPS's fault. This is definitely the seller. I have never purchased on OfferUp. Um, well, I've purchased in person through OfferUp for like furniture and whatnot locally, but this is my first time purchasing online to ship. And the bag looked great in the pictures, uh, reached out thanks to Harmony, I believe. Um, she sent me this link and was like, I know you like cash-ins and there's this one available and it was at a great price and it was a limited edition, it was numbered, but I had never purchased from OfferUp before. And like, have you guys, let me know in the comments down below, like, do you guys use OfferUp to purchase bags or have things shipped to you? Because this is my first time doing this and I, is this what you normally expect from OfferUp? I've purchased from every other site out there, but never OfferUp. And I mean, even ThreadUp that works with, um, ThreadUp works with, uh, secondhand stores and their packaging is immaculate. It comes in a beautifully sturdy box, you know, uh, little cards and whatnot inside wrapped perfectly. And that's coming from a thrift shop. This is coming from someone's house and their personal collection. And this seller, the seller had like 75 reviews and she has five stars. Bruh. Like my like jaw hit the ground when I seen this um, get dropped off at my doorstep and I went immediately to go check her profile and like make sure this wasn't a scam or something and nope she has five stars but anyways I'm I'm rambling let's get into this unbagging um let's just let me give you a tour like it's just a bag it's just a bag there's no box in here it's just taped shut but not even fully taped shut because look it's already open and let's hope that the charms that come with this bag are still in there because I mean, look, it's just, it's literally just a piece of tape that's holding this thing together. There's no adhesive strip. You guys put this in a box, stuff it, especially if you want to keep your great score and you don't want items returned to you because it's a hassle just to resell it. But let's get into this how not to package your bags for sale. This was definitely just reused packaging, which is fine. I mean, come on, you guys. Like, like, as a seller, do you think that this is okay? Like, I don't know what that is there. I Like, this, yes. Was this a good deal? Yes. But, I mean, put it in a box. You're not paying for shipping. The buyer, me, is paying for shipping. I paid it, like, I think, like, $12 for shipping. And I could have picked a million other different ways on how to ship this properly. Like, this is just squashed. Yes, I think I'll be able to get this back to what it was. But it's not okay to ship like that, you guys. Like, come on. Like, uh, this is so frustrating. But anyways, let's get into the bag because... Nonetheless, it is a cash-in, and you guys know how much I love the cash-ins. I have like eight others in my collection that I really love. I'll have a collection video for you guys uh, up soon, but I mean, 
Okay. Let's just take it in. So this is like a red color. It's like a corally red. And you got like the tan on the outside, on the side gussets. This cash in specifically, there's really not much information out there. I tried looking it up and there really isn't much. It has a little booklet like from my opening ceremony cash in that has a little story inside. <sighs> Let's look inside. Oh. I specifically messaged the seller and I asked her, how is the interior on this? Since I knew it was like a suede or microfiber material. And she said, oh, there's no, I asked her if there were stains. She said, there was no stains. This is perfect. And this smells like conditioner or maybe like some body spray or something. Like it's definitely been spilt in there. I don't know if you could see the bottom of it. It's covered in glitter and I don't know if that's a stain at the bottom or if that's just maybe like the the way the suede is laying. But there's a mark on the pocket there that you can see very easily. And I mean, don't lie. Like, I've never dealt with the returns on these, but supposedly OfferUp has a two-day buyer protection. If it doesn't show up the way that it was described, that you can return it. And I honestly think... That's what I'm leaning towards as of now. I will get into this a little bit more later on exactly the condition. What I can do to this bag to see if I can even fix what's going on here. There's no strap to it, which I knew not from the seller, but Harmony, um, she reached out if there was a strap. She said there was, if she had misplaced the strap and if she could find it, she would send it with it. But this is just like look at the sides like can you see the side gussets in here like they're all scratched up like and you guys this is a limited edition bag okay let me let me read this off to you guys if, if i can if i can see it so from what i've seen in this picture this was marked like one of let's see 10. this is a limited edition coach bag it is handcrafted from the finest materials with superior craftsmanship and attention to detail reflect our commitment to enduring quality Central Hong Kong, number five of 10. So you guys, they only made 10 of these, 10 of these. I don't know if um, this was just for the Hong Kong market or what it is or why it's marked, you know, one of number five of, of 10 and it specifically says Hong Kong. So I don't know if this was for the Asian market and Hong Kong specifically, but I mean, it seems to be a rare piece and why would you treat a rare piece like this like that? I'm like, my mind is blown with this. There's pen mark at the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see that there, in that dark spot right there. And the corners seem fine, like there's like glue or I don't know what it is out here. And this kind of looks like some like dried toothpaste or something that's on there. And like when you post these things and you describe it as like great condition or lightly used and it shows up looking like you just, you know, used it to carry who knows what in there. Like, I don't know if that's just the suede. No, that's... That's stained, at least that spot back there. Let's see if I can. Man, this is such a shame. She said she used it like once or twice. I don't think this looks used once or twice. It kind of looks like she was storing it in her bathroom and all kinds of stuff got, got on it, got in it. I mean, it's a, it's, it's a bummer. Let's see what this little booklet, because these earlier cash-ins, you guys, um, they came with a little story booklet like this, telling you like a story of a handbag. And then it came with a tag separately, which it's not even branded. There's no marking on it. There's no coach anything on it. But let's see what this little booklet says. There's nothing in it. 
there, I know for a fact that this comes with a little story booklet on the inside. And there's a little bit of remnants of what was in there, the paper. So the previous owner, the seller, ripped it all out. And so who knows what was in there. If it's anything like mine, it said like the story of the handbag and it had like uh, drawings from Bonnie Cashin in there. And it's super, super cute. But I don't know why they decided to rip this out. So, I mean, it's a major bummer that this rare bag is just got used and abused and then the seller decides to not disclose the condition and when i ask about it lies to me and tells me oh the bag's in great condition only used like once or twice this bag has clearly been heavily used this came from texas in a plastic bag like a uh, yes, plastic bag, please, but put it inside of a box as well. And even at that, this plastic bag has holes in it, like for shipping to get the air in and out. Just, that's not gonna, it's gonna protect it some, but if water gets in there, all it's gonna do is keep the water inside of it. So, I mean, you guys, when you guys are selling on the pre-love sites, you guys just be honest of the condition of the bag because this is gonna be a headache and a half to have to return this. Luckily, it wasn't too much, but still, nonetheless, like, be honest, put it in a box, put it in a bag, then put it in a box and put some padding in there if the box is too big and the bag's gonna be moving around. Cause otherwise, nobody wants to deal with having to give a refund. Nobody wants to deal with getting a bad review just overall, like this was a zero out of 10, would not recommend, like don't go there, don't even bother. And it's just, it's sad. This is only one of 10 made, only one of 10 made. And this person decided to treat this bag like this. So you guys don't ship it like that. This is has become a how not to sh uh, package your items for shipping when you're reselling because this is going to go back. This is more than likely going to go back. I'm going to reach out to the seller first and say, you know, what is going on? A, you put it in a plastic bag and just shipped it and thought that was fine. B, you told me it was in great condition, no stains. And this clearly has like dry toothpaste, glue, um, glitter inside. It smells like she spilled something in there. So clearly that is not true. Um, and then you ripped out the booklet, like that all affects the value of it. And what I paid should be a lot less than what this was. So I don't know what it's gonna become other than a how not to ship your items. Like, I mean, let's just take this as a learning experience because I was a new seller once and I had to learn as I went. There was no video out there that I could see on how to package your items, you know, any like Mercari, Poshmark, anything like that. They don't really tell you specifics on how to package your things. So you just kind of have to guess and play, you know, the, you gamble when you first start reselling like this, like this would have been tucked inside. These definitely take these off because look, this, it's probably what scratched this um, shipping like that. And this was the side that was facing down. The shipping label was on top. Come on, at least put it on the right side. But I mean, lots of padding, stuffing, stuff your bags. Like even at the least, these air pillows are like dirt cheap. We get them all in our Amazon packages. Save these, you can use these. These don't cost you any weight in your package because it's literally just air. Um, put it in a plastic bag inside of a sturdy cardboard that's big enough, like don't cram it in there, that's big enough for the bag. So, uh, like I said, let me know in the comment box if you guys use OfferUp for anything like this, for purchasing um, bags, anything that gets shipped to you. And what was your experience? Because this has me worried about purchasing anything else in the future through OfferUp. And I mean, I don't want to give it just this bad... Um, let this first bad impression just really affect, you know, my shopping experience because there could be tons of amazing sellers on OfferUp. 
Um, but this, unfortunately, just wasn't one of them. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.